drum roll, how does it perform? As a lover of technology and a fangirl of sorts of Dr. Eagleman, I was so excited to try Clarify and I wanted to love it so badly. They have definitely done their due diligence in the research and creating the hardware. I think everybody so far in the audiology world agrees that the research and even the common sense foundations of this device is solid, compelling, and strong. The hardware is great, the way that they figured out the virtual vibration touch points, they figured out how the amplitude of the sound would be represented in the kind of strength or amplitude of the vibration. But I think where there needs to be improvement and continued research is the way that they map the audio from the microphone into the vibration patterns. So they're, they're mapping strategies and this is no easy feat. A disclaimer that I was the sole tester. I did wear it daily for over three weeks in a ton of different settings. I wore it in quiet, in the car, in restaurants, at a big convention with preschoolers, with babies, with adults, with elderly people. And I want to sing from a mountaintop its praises about how it's gonna revolutionize the soundtracks of our lives, but I was a little bit disappointed. And the biggest issue is that it just doesn't pick up a lot of voices. It picked up my voice the most prominently, and that makes sense given that the microphone is on my own wrist and it's closest to my voice. And after that, it would pick up any voice that was loud and clear and projected, it would pick up those voices well, but it barely picked up my three-year-old's voice, even when she was really close to me. And even people who were speaking clearly, but not necessarily loudly, it often didn't pick up their voices. The second issue is that it does seem inconsistent. And what I mean by inconsistent is if I say the same words, for, sure, door, poor, it will vibrate, often it'll vibrate different, differently, even if I'm saying the same words. And I, I wanted to try to recreate this for you because we can't throw this in the Verifit 2 um, or run traditional objective measurements on it due to it not being a hearing aid. I strapped this onto a large diaphragm condenser microphone and looped audio through my speakers and then recorded the microphone output. And because it vibrates at 175 hertz, it's pretty easy to hear and see on a spectrogram when and where the wristband is vibrating. So let's take a look at that right now. In this example, you're gonna hear my own voice recorded and repeated saying the words, for, sure, door, sore. These are the words that they actually use in it as an example of how Clarify will respond to the different phonemes. For, sore, door, sure. For, sore, door, sure. For what you can see by looking at the spectrogram here is that the sensor has never picked up the F. It always picked up the S from sore and always picked up the SH from shore, but it would sometimes pick up the D of door, but sometimes not pick up the D from door. And you'll see that here by the pink blobs that correspond with about 175 hertz. And here is something similar. I recorded the words fabulous because it has an F and then dog and tog. Tog is actually a kind of a fish for those of you who don't know. And kind of like the other one, it's picking up the dog, it's picking up tog, and seems to differentiate pretty well the D and the T. It never picked up the F from fabulous. It would always respond to the B in fabulous. And then sometimes it would respond to the S, but sometimes it would not. Fabulous, dog, tog, fabulous, dog, there is so much promise here. More research and work and testing needs to be done in terms of how to, again, map the audio to the vibrotactile patterns of the actuators. And maybe that's with massaging the audio more. Maybe it's with introducing active noise cancellation or using a lapel mic or a remote microphone or live listen so that you don't have to hold your wrist up near the person's mouth, the, the person who's talking's mouth. 
perhaps even some speech recognition algorithms, although that's probably gonna um, introduce too much latency. I know Apple's watch is doing more with the vibration patterns in response to the sound it picks up, but I'm pretty sure the Apple watch will not achieve the resolution that the Neosensory wristband has. I believe in this company, I believe in this device, and I really hope that Neosensory, you stay here, you don't go away because we need companies like you. In terms of whether or not to recommend this to patients, like with a lot of patients, I think it's gonna come down to um, budget, first of all, and then also their willingness to try different technology. If budget isn't an issue, absolutely recommend it because it's not going to hurt them. And for all we know, for some people after a month or two, it could really, really um, help them, especially if they're in certain listening situations where it's picking up the target voice pretty well. Our most confident recommendation would be to use Clarify in combination with ear level amplification or listening enhancement devices. If it's somebody only complaining about restaurant sound, we would not want to recommend this. And then for, again, those, for those who are not interested in traditional hearing aid, those who are curious about new technology, there is that 30 day money back guarantee. We will talk about the Duo and Buzz later. I think those modes right now are more promising, at least now in June of 2022, that we can confidently recommend to our patients. But again, with Clarify, um, there's a lot left to be desired, but I believe this is only the beginning and that sensory substitution has a place in our field. Is it tuned approved? I'm not gonna yell that from the mountaintop, but we're definitely going to give you updates on it and you can recommend it to appropriate patients who are willing to test out new things. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.